<laughs> Welcome to another edition of Goldman Fox Plays. And, um, yeah, uh, I went through a long pause. I had to take care of some kind of phone call. This is pretty awkward. Um, a quick update. Um, anybody who donates $20 in this uh, donation bar, or if it reaches $20, I mean, or if I beat through this game, we're going to do a one-shot episode where I play Tetris because I have recently learned that poor Lightning Bliss... <laughs> very, very obsessive compulsive of Tetris, uh, playing Tetris. I own just... your ass in that game. <laughs> 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 Everything you do with it is wrong! Metal Forge Fox. Oh, damn it! Your friend oh, is oh. in Germany. Holy oh, shit! Um, Holy dude, shit. you gonna screen, share, gonna screen share with us? Oh, yeah, hang on a second. Um, where is it? Where is it? Share screens and. And here we are. My little golden friendship is Tetris. How Apparently. about? How about? Uh, here's a better title. How about my little Tetris? Lightning Bliss's frustration is magic. Ah! <laughs> how about no Fox to simplify it? My little frustration. Tetris is magic. <laughs> I like that. That's a good my one. My little good... Bliss no! insanity is no, magic. No, no, Get back here. I need you. No, get up there. Get back here, Ramby. Ramby, that's his name. God, it's so easy to get that name mixed up with that, and, um... Yeah, fuck you! Fuck you! No! 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 no get back get here! Get back, Ramby! Is there a pit oh, down Ramby's here? Oh, Ramby's dead. Oh, wait, there he oh, is! No, he's there he is! Ho! Oh, oh, ho! Oh. Ho! Get up there! Come on, get on him! There we go! Oh. <laughs> Gonna shove a horn up your ass! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he will shove that horn up a lot of people's asses, or in their chest. Which of the two? Take your pick. Mm -hmm. Oh no 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 no! <gasps> no! Oh, Rippy! No! no! <laughs> <laughs> oh! God uh, damn it! Uh, okay. No! Oh. Okay, that was one of the. That was one of the best reactions I've ever seen to a rhinoceros dying. No, Rampy, no! I still like the <laughs> Xbox. What? Oh! Uh, I miscalculated the trajectory. Those orangutans, seriously. Those orangutans are fucking assholes. They are the charge and chucks of this game. If you get my drift. Yeah. Fuck you. Carefully going. Yeah, I, I go. Oh shit! Okay. Hi, babe. I'm in a live stream with Fox and Bliss. Hi, Chris. Oh, uh, Zach's here. Hear, is there an acharky? Yes, it's an acharky. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. His mm -hmm. name was Frampy Tucker. Donkey Kong Country. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That was a nice recovery. Holy fuck. You know what I love to do when I was a kid playing this game? You know what I would do? What? I, if I found no! the DK damn it, barrel. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, <laughs> If I found the DK barrel, I would intentionally throw it off the cliff just to watch it bounce back. <laughs> wow. Chris just got me a really nice copper frying pan. Ooh. Awesome. Yes. Oh shit, I did forget about Rambi. Junab just pointed Hashtag that out. Hashtag remember Rambi. Hashtag remember Rambi. <laughs> no, uh, there's a placement of that, and I forget that he's uh, hit, He's in one of those areas where you think it's a pit. Oh. oh, would you look at that? A fucking TNT. That's right, bitches. Stay the fuck out of my way. I got TNT and I'm not afraid to use it. Are you serious? Okay. I was on top of him. <laughs> that was so bullshit. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Well, it could be worse. You still got this. That's true. That's true. You got this. this is, what? This is... Oh, fire in the uh, face. Um... I was about to say, just so long as you don't go, go into the fire. <sighs> I, I think it's time we, like, uh, sing that one song. Uh, I, how did the lyrics go? It's the Ring of Fire song. I don't know. Down, down, down in the Ring of Fire. 
This is a lovely pan. Yes, he is. Yes, it is. I can't fucking word today. Dude, when can you ever word when you're pissed off? By the you know, way, guys, I, I have a newly uh -oh. edited TF2 video that I put in the chat. Uh, the our TF2 chat. <clears throat> oh, cool. Oh, really? Yeah. You can watch it later, though. No, Chad, you're not allowed to see it. <laughs> just, just don't ask. Oh, add it to the pile. Don't worry, chat. TF2 will be coming back in 2018. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That is torturous. <laughs> that is bull. That is... Guys, don't listen to Toon. He's just being salty. Might as well be at this rate. <laughs> He's being extremely salty. Hey, I feel oh, sorry no, 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 for no. the fans. That's oh, all. Oh, God. Yeah, the fuck you, orangutan. The fans what? are patient. The fans are understanding. What? Yeah. Okay, I will explain. Okay, so stuff. 2019 then. All right. Oh my fuck God! You. Stop! <laughs> I'm gonna sit on. I'm gonna sit on him until oh, he shuts shit. up. Anyway, um, you have no effect on me. I hope you know that. I will cough unless, on not you. Unless you're a up. dragon, then landing on you is very effective. Extremely you're, effective. You're not that big though. So uh, you are. Nine feet yeah. long is quite large. It's certainly larger no, than No, I'm talking about just regular. Just regular oh. bliss is not that large. But... You know what? Oh, no! You know what? Whoa! Oh, Remy, get back here! Oh! <laughs> Relax, you're okay. What? what? Grab it, bro! No! Damn it! Damn it! No! Damn it, damn it, damn it! Jump, man, jump! You have to get rid of those guys. Yeah, I have to get rid of this asswipe. And you too! Fuck you! <laughs> God, what a bunch of dingleberries. It's been like this since I got it wet this morning. What? It. So that's nothing. Hey, get, get the- okay. No, damn it! No! Fuck! Uh, anyway, as I was no! trying to say before- No! I missed the jump! <laughs> no! I missed oh, the goddamn God. oil drum! Before Mr. Salty TK interrupted. The reason why TF2 episodes have been delayed is because we had a little issue with audio editing problems. Originally, uh, Josh Scorcher or Doc would do the audio editing, but things kept coming up and we had to get an additional audio editor to help us out. Yeah, and some of us, like myself, volunteered to voice our lines. The thing is, um, I still need lines from, I think, uh, Keyframe, and then I can do um, an episode called I Need a Hero, which is a pretty funny one. Yeah, that's a fun one. I'm glad we came up with that one together. Yeah. In fact, I'm glad you spoke up that you were feeling left out, because if you didn't, we would have come up with that funny one. <laughs> the thing is, okay, I don't want to sound like an egotistical douche, what the hell? What is this? But let's say Lavender Experiences makes it happy hearing you either way. I'll be watching. How much did you donate? I can't see it. Uh, let me look. I can't, like. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, well, I, I only that. see, like, uh, $7. Oh. In the thingy. Huh. Okay. Anyway. Oh, I think, uh, uh somebody donated three. Oh, shit. Okay, let's wait for it. But, um, yeah. Uh, we have, we have videos that will be aired at some point. That all depends on what Doc would like to have them aired. We have at least five, maybe six videos now go, that go, are waiting go. to be aired. And we have several scripts in the making, too, so... No! I missed the fucking tire! God damn it! Yeah. <sighs> Shit! I can't... So 2020 then? <sighs> yeah, Are you so... gonna stop that? So the joke to... is seriously old already. Ellie, I'm too sick to do anything. Can you kick his ass for me? <sighs> okay. Wait for it. Okay, in all seriousness, probably near BronyCon then. What do, 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 do? No, I don't no, think it's it, probably think gonna it's... be sooner than that. It I can promise you there will be something along April, I bet. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, right, 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 right. The thing, right. Now! 
Now he remembers. Now he remembers. I can't say the thing because people will probably know what it is. It's, yeah, it's now, spoilers. Now, we know what you're talking about. But it's just like, oh, That's where's it. the top hat uh, memory? Uh, I mean, my memory is usually fine. I think someone's sick. Like me. Yeah, of course I'm sick. Just, and not paying attention. Uh, it has been established that I'm sick. I am sick too. But my, no, my memory damn it, is. Ooh, damn it! Fuck! Flame up the butt. I guess. I'm sorry, Fox. I shouldn't be laughing this much. Uh, I laugh at his pain. <laughs> no, you guys. Well, you have a right to, considering how he was willingly torturing okay, you with you know the Tetris. Guys? Oh, he didn't know. If you what? laugh at me getting frustrated, I'm perfectly welcome to it. You know why? Because I love because I find it hilarious watching Aaron and Game Grumps rage like crazy. It's part of the fun. It's part of the fun! It's part I mean, of the if fun. there's any legit like No! Damn it! If there's any legit like <laughs> if there's any legit like anger that becomes uncomfortable, yeah, I would have to step away from um I would have to step away from the game because I would just completely lose my mind and it would get very crazy and like We've seen you lose your mind, dude. It ain't pretty. Oh yeah. Uh there was uh something that happened in which I'm not gonna clarify completely. Eliora was scared shitless when I was screaming at the top of my lungs. So you know what? I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. I missed this. Um, Did I miss this? What do you mean you missed I it? I don't remember if you were there for that. Yeah, no, that doesn't sound wasn't. like it. No, it was before she was um it was before the Babcon trip, so this was back in like twenty fourteen. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That was before I even met y'all. Yeah. yeah. Um, long story short, uh, there was something I was not happy about, and I was pacing around the room, and it drove me up the wall. And damn it! I miscalculated the timing. <laughs> um, long story short, I was screaming so loud, I damaged my vocal cords. Eliora was legitimately scared. I was legitimately frightened. No, yeah. when Fox is actually mad, he is a terrifying sight. Yeah. What so, was it that made you so upset? Um, I'll I'll tell it to you privately, or if one of you oh, can. Okay. Actually, yeah. yeah no problem. I don't remember what you. you made were, it. I don't remember what you were mad about, but I do remember that you got mad. Okay. Um, you know what? I'll I'll try to make this short. Um, it's gonna. Be, damn it! Get up here. Careful. Sorry, sorry. Um, hang on. Oh, uh, you don't have to do it now. Babe. Oh no, no, that's okay. It's okay. I insist. Um. All right. Fan art, oh, uh, Equestria guy did it again. Yep. What, another one of those fan arts? Yes. Tetris is frustration! <laughs> oh my god, let's see. I'll have to take a look at that. <laughs> okay, I love it. Okay, why is this taking forever? <laughs> click on it and it's not working. That is beautiful. What? Shockwave flash. Flash may be busy, or it may have stopped responding. You can stop. Running. Here, I'll just link it in the. In no, 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 it's not that. It's just I clicked on it, All right, and Bliss, it's not I, I linking me. I messaged you privately. All right, hold on. Shit. I think my web browser is crashed or something. Ah. No, there's only ever been one or two times that Brett has legitimately frightened me, and both times had to do with him being actually angry. All right, so Bliss, I sent you a private message explaining what the event was. Okay, one sec. All right. Yeah, I think my browser crashed. Shit, that's a first. Ooh, browser. Yeah. It's browser, awesome. stop. Frustrating. Chester's is frustration. What the fuck? <laughs> so I'm the lion piece. <laughs> so I'm the lion piece. Elior is the square, and. Bliss is one of the squiggly uh, pieces. What the fuck? <laughs> the dude's just sitting there. Just like, just he's like si I'm just a I just find all this very amusing. So yeah, um, so yeah, Bliss, I... Right? Yeah, I'll look at a sec. Hold on, my browser's still, like, frozen. I can't turn it off. <laughs> That's uh, weird. I'm, te <sighs> I'm, like, I'm tempted to say it out loud because I kind of want to get it off my chest. It's your stream, dude, and it's your video. Okay. Like, if you want to talk um, about it, you say it. Chat, I hope you guys are okay with this. Yeah. 
Um, it was during the time when Keyframe's mother was harassing her. Mm hmm And I was pacing around the room because she was constantly yelling at Chrissy <laughs> for a lot of things. And at one point, um, I just, like, I couldn't take it. I was throwing shit across the room because I couldn't stand her voice when she was talking in such a manner to Chrissy. And I was screaming, SHUT UP! Like Chester Bennington. Like, if you thought that my anger in season four was of anything, that's nothing. No, that at least is still amusing. It has so this. There, there were no smiles. There were no, no giggles. It was, it was straight up like, it was, it was very levels of, very huge levels of our uh, discomfort. Oh. Okay, no, it I'm, takes I'm a looking. lot to actually. It takes a lot to actually frighten me. Yeah. He did it. He did it. And like, mind you, this comes from somebody who does like have like a very short temper, but not to that degree. I mean, that was like... I and was, you have a quick temper, but that was just straight up... No, that was almost... Pure a and, that was pure hatred. Yeah, that was yeah. pure hatred, pure, like, just... I'll just go back and wait for the platform to respawn. Are you fucking serious? Hold on. I, I thought I saw something down here. Okay, I saw it right there. Whatever. <laughs> I gotta get him over. Whatever. I'm cool with it. I'm fine. I'm fine. You are again. not fine. I it's not fine, dude. Did you save after you did the oil alley? Ah, uh, I don't know. I think he did. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let's uh, yeah. But yeah, um, that that's that's that that was the moment where like I was just like screaming at the top of my lungs because of that, and I just didn't appreciate it. Like, I did not appreciate the way she was being treated. And it, it got so... We all know the story there, so... Okay, that mean that that's enough said. Yeah. I, I, I can't... Yeah, let's get back to the game. We're going a little off track here. Right now, I am just like, I'm gonna go grind to, like, get some more lives. That's good. That yeah. should be good. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Really? Are you fucking serious? Oh, great, I just went in here. Well, Bliss, I hope that answers the question as to why uh, there are giant piles of bananas whenever you're facing your uh, the enemies in each uh, world. Where's that DK barrel? It was supposed to be there. You mean to tell me it can't fucking respawn? What bullshit? And there was a balloon up there, and I just missed it. Checkpoints and stuff. Ah! Oh, shit. Okay. Oh shit! Okay. Fuck you, bird. Yeah, I know, right? You're Thank you for following Star Fox 289. I'm about to ram some. <laughs> I'm gonna ram this horn up so many people's asses. I hate it when somebody goes out of the way to post like a really long comment and then like there's a stripe line going through it to indicate that they didn't mean to write it and they were marking it out. Uh -huh. Well, it's like, why have it in there then? Whoa, shit. Rambo! Jesus! What? I have never seen this minigame. Oh yeah, this is like, to me, this is like the best mini game out of like all those uh, animal bonuses that you have. Because the items are really big, right, um, Rambi moves really fast, so you can get so many points. Thank you for following, um, Adrian528. Let me see if I can get the 500. Come on, baby, come on! Ah, uh, I was off by 12, whatever. Dude, I think you're fine. Alright, hang on, hang on. Alright, time to go to one of those planes and go all the way back to the factory. So you got more extra lives. Yep. Come on. Funky's flight. The barrel flights. <laughs> Metal Forge, shut the fuck up. Huh? What? Look at what Metal Forge uh, 3 says. Oh my goodness, That's a seductive really? pose. Oh, Golden, you can ram me with your- Oh, that even fits Not safe that. for bliss. Not safe not for safe bliss. bliss. <laughs> no, I'm not touching that. Nope. Good night, everybody. Da-da-da-da-da-da. 
Let me see if I can just like get on through this. Oopa monkey style. I'm not sorry. Of course you're not. <clears throat> of course you're not. I can already tell I cracked my voice. Uh, it's a, it's a of, oh man, as soon as I'm like away from the screen for not even a millisecond, the tire is gone. Alright, whatever. I can still continue. I can make all this progress. I can deal with those motherfucking orangutans who like to throw their barrels at me. Fuck you. He's in full on I am angry fox mode. <laughs> a hysterical fox, uh, angry fox mode. No, I'm not gonna bother to get Rambi. Yeah, you thought you could have me there, huh? Oh, fuck you. Concentration. <laughs> Gotta wait for it, and... There's a fun fact about this game. What's that? You know that after Miyamoto shit on this game, Rare didn't want to use Donkey Kong for any of his subsequent sequels? Really? Uh -huh. you yeah. That, you mean she they, Miyamoto didn't like this game or something? I just remember Miyamoto basically shitting on this game, saying that this was proof that some people will buy anything with good graphics. You know what? It would kind of make sense because here's the thing. Something that a lot of people don't know about. Okay, so Super Metroid. A lot of you would agree it's a really good game, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's an interesting uh, fact about this. I can hear myself. Sorry, I'm just letting Chris hear. Okay. Um, in the production of Super Metroid... It costed them so much money to make because they were so passionate and they wanted to make it really good. And while it's received positive reviews, the game was uh, left in the shadows at this because this game was released at the same time Donkey Kong Country was. Hmm. And because it didn't make that much money, that's why there was never an N64 release of a Metro game. Wow. Yeah, so um, I know it would sound like it's out of pity, but it would also make sense that Miyamoto would uh, have been so angry about Donkey Kong Country saying the game is shit. Yeah. Not not to, uh, because like I said, when you had D Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3, neither one featured Donkey Kong as a playable character, only the characters that Rare came up with. That is, um, that is kind of pretty surreal when you go putting uh, Donkey's name on there instead of, you know, putting names like Diddy and such. Like, I guess it's there for marketing reasons, but sometimes you gotta be careful with what you name them because it can be misleading. Um, like, one of the things that still drives me up a wall is Yoshi's Island. It's it's titled Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. I'm like, why did you name it as that? It's not, it, The only thing it has to do with Mario is just him being a baby. This is more of a Yoshi game than it is as a... than more of a, a Mario game. What touch? <laughs> Oh shit! I missed that. Damn it. I'll be quiet now. <laughs> wow, why would you say that? Oh me? I was just being a goof. I'll 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 keep in the peanut gallery. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> Yay. You're good to listen to, babe. Well there's a video I recommend people look up, uh that's um, it. Good job. Good it's, on job a, Fox. it's on under a YouTube channel, Larry Bundy Jr., or Guru Larry, as he's mostly called. And he did a video like five times that Miyamoto was a jerk. And <laughs> it's, it's it's actually pretty good. It's kind of interesting. Fuck. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, I'm looking. Oh, somebody you... typed down a paragraph about other information behind a Miyamoto and. Other but Miyamoto, the... I'll read it, but Miyamoto was pretty much the reason why Star Fox 2 was cancelled, why Dinosaur Planet was turned to Star oh, Fox yeah. Adventures, and he was also one of the big pushers for all the Nintendo copyright lawsuits. Oh yeah, yeah. Star, Star Fox Adventures, one of the worst video games ever made. Yeah, I also remember, um, okay, about uh, Star Fox 2, 
He actually canceled that because he wanted the sequel of Star Fox to be shifted to the N64, which nowadays we have Star Fox 64. Mm -hmm. <sighs> also notice they never re-released the original SNES Star Fox game. There's a reproduction part of it. Reason. One of those beavers. I can't reach it. Damn it. Oh, d yes! what? 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 Oh, what? What? Oh. what? 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 How the fuck did he fall off? Did he just like go like completely lose his like sense of will to live? What the fuck so. was that? Oh, uh, shit again. I still think that the most idiotic commitment Nintendo's ever done, and everybody would probably agree with me on this was the Philips CDI when, um... Yeah. Yeah, like, the cause of that was because Nintendo felt like, okay, so originally there was going to be the PlayStation, which would allow both Super Nintendo games and, um... What do you would call it? Uh, like, CD-based games, which, are, which were now referred to as PlayStation games, uh, to be played on, but... Uh, people at Nintendo got paranoid saying that uh, Sony would have like full control over their games. So they made like a secret uh, connection with Philips, and thus you had the CDI and completely humiliated Sony, and that's how the PlayStation happened. Well, look who's laughing now. Yeah. That was a very, very stupid commitment. Just like this, I got my ass kicked by two baby crocodiles. Fuck you. Ooh. Yeah. There is Sony tech inside of Super Nintendo. No joke. What's up? The there is Sony, Sony tech. There is Sony technology that was responsible for the sound stuff in the Super Nintendo. Yeah. Definitely a huge improvement. Uh, the other idiotic commitment was when Nintendo stuck with cartridges for the N64. Well, it's not a bad console. It was not good for business. Like it uh, costed them a lot of money to make cartridges, whereas making a CD-based uh, uh, game instead of cartridge-based uh, was a huge financial difference. I'll leave it at that. And because of that, uh, a lot of major companies like Square ship uh, like move their games to uh, Sony. That's why there was never like a Final Fantasy VII for the N64 or. Mega Man X4 and so on and so forth. Yeah, it's... It seems like after the Super Nintendo, Nintendo had this big long period where they just didn't give a fuck for what other companies thought. It's like, no, we're Nintendo, damn it, and we're gonna do what we want. Fuck. Sometimes it's a no! Yeah, you it's asshole. like a blessing for theirs. What the fuck just happened? I bad stuff with one of those what? fucking... It was over! No, okay, what happened was it's one of those big buffy guys. He came on the platform, and I was trying to get over him, and then I bounced off of him and went right into the goddamn pit. Oh, it's like Castlevania backlash. Yeah, yeah, it, it was it was a Castlevania knockback. Love those. That was sarcasm. <laughs> really? I couldn't tell. Square. <laughs> there was a game that came out recently. I can't think of what it's called. But it has an upgrade. It's like a 2D game that has an upgrade progression system. And I guess one of the upgrades is to reduce knockback. I can't think of what it is, though. Um, you mean uh, Castlevania? It, it's it's like an indie game that came out recently. I can't think of what it's called. They freaking talked about it on a podcast I listened to. And it has, like, a progression system and, like, upgrade mechanics. And, like, one of the upgrades you can get is, like, reduce knockback. And it's just, like... Fuck! What? <laughs> I miscalculated the trajectory when the crocodile was gonna fall. Very fucking lovely. You got this, don't worry. Yeah, I know, I can do this, I can do this. Oh. Uh, but yeah, with Super Metroid, it wasn't until, like, at least another eight years that we would get, like, another Metroid game, or two for that matter, because there was both Metroid Prime and there was also Metroid Fusion, which... For Metroid Prime, I still have yet to play. I heard that some people uh, like that one more than uh, Super Metroid. Mm. Not sure yet. Um, but I did play I mean, Metroid... Oh, sorry, go ahead. 
I mean, to put it this way, Metroid Prime, in my opinion, is to Super Metroid what Ocarina of Time was to uh, Link to the Past, to where this was a logical progression for this series to go technology-wise and still maintain, like, the things that make Metroid special. Okay, I, I can I can see that kind of uh, point of view. Um, I do remember playing Metroid Fusion on GBA, and holy fuck, is that game frustrating. Oh, it gives a lot more than that. In this whole world is to find out that enemies find out my girl. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, I'm thinking oh, of that suck. Oh oh, 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 is that what I think it is? Yes! Yes! Pussy lips and penis tips, what did I miss? Hey! Oh, oh, hey. Wow, you came just in time. Oh, wait, I got one more. Oh, shit. Shit! Is this what I think it is? Is this really what I fucking think it is? Oh, no, oh so no, you came no. for the best part. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. oh, snakes! Yes, I know, right? Why did it have to be snakes? I hate snakes. No, at first I thought it was uh, another one of those platform stages, but you have to, like, keep a, like, it has a battery level and you have to keep fueling it. That level is so frustrating. I can imagine. Yeah. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, Solar Flare. He always loves to make a big entrance. Yep. That's not <laughs> the only thing that's big on me. Oh, that's safe, <laughs> Wes. <laughs> that was too easy. You it just, was. If you just, you just, no. Hey. Just led me right to that one. Hey, just Solar. Stop it. Solar. Yeah, what's up? If you're willing, to, oh. if you're oh. willing to stay after I finish Donkey Kong Country, I got something very special to tell you. Oh, oh, no. oh goody! Bliss is so obsessive compulsive disorder over Tetris. You mean OCD? <laughs> OCD. Yeah. OCD. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, he's OC She is so OCD over Tetris, and this happened because during one of the um, one of the uh, one of the breaks before Thanks. moving to the next episode. She was losing her shit. Like, no, that's not where that block goes. It's hilarious. <laughs> he sucks at the game. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, he made it to level seven. Uh, I made it to level eight, almost level nine. Oh shit. Oh, the, oh Fox doesn't know what happened. She, she, she's got such. A, she's got a pretty big game for a small horse. Fuck you, Tetris is my shit. Fuck you. <laughs> Tetris is my shit. You could. <laughs> Kick your own oh. ass. <laughs> okay, what had happened, babe, was Fox was just... It was kind of an intermission, so it was occupying the time with Tetris. And Bliss has a perfectionist streak that extends to games. Like, so um, when he wasn't placing the blocks perfectly, quote-unquote, she was kind of <clears throat> breaking. That's funny. It's funny. <laughs> no sympathy, oh. right? By turmoil, there's just no sympathy for me. There, there I have no to, sympathy. Only laugh. I have to wonder what uh, Blissey's interest level was in Metroid, considering that not Miyamoto, but uh, Gunpei Yokoi. Who I never was, played. Oh yes, Gunpei Yokoi. God, he, yeah, he's Gunpei Yokoi. He was. Uh, he was the he designer was a, of the Game Boy, wasn't he? Yeah, um, he was also the dude. Like at the time, he was he was the lead on games like Met on the original Metroid, and he even did. He even did go on record saying that he borrowed inspiration for the look and design of both the environments and the creatures from uh, Ridley Scott's Aliens. Oh yeah, the whole. Game, oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah, the Metroid series is heavily uh, alien inspired. And in case it wasn't obvious enough, listen to the music in Super Metroid. It's so ambient and it has this creepy atmosphere to it. As soon as the game starts, it's amazing. It's definitely one of those games where it like it it screams adult to an extent. Not to mention that the enemy is named Ridley after Ridley Scott. <laughs> yep. Yep. You know what I would love to see? Since I'll never meet the man in person because he passed away. Fuck! Hmm. I <laughs> I was so close! God damn it! Jeez. See, look, Diddy's, Diddy's expression is fuck fucking perfect right there. Life. See, um, his expression matches perfectly. I, I would love to see H.R. Geiger, one of H.R. Geiger's art museums. Hmm. Have but, to go to France or Sweden for that, though. But back to Goombay oh, Yokoi. Um, 
Son of a bitch! No, um, whenever I hear Goombay and Koi, it kind of like saddens me inside because he, uh, the car accident he got in. And the thing that like upsets me is that he died at a time after the, um, the aftermath of the Virtual Boy. So it seems like he died on a bitter note. Who died? Gumpa Yakoi. He was the designer of the Game Boy and um, the Virtual Boy. Son of a... I told you to roll forward, not duck. Anyway, um, wow. I seem to have drifted off. Sorry. <gasps> oh, so Blissey. If yeah. You like some, if you like some HR Giger... Geiger. Geiger, my bad. I've heard Giger used a lot, but seeing how they spell it, I can't say that. But, but um, <laughs> if you like his artwork, just look up screenshots for an adventure game that he did the work on called Dark Sea. It was a point-and-click adventure game, and like, like I said, like I think they sell that game on GOG or something, but. If you just, but just look up the screenshots for it, and you'll be like, "Yep, that's that's Geiger." <laughs> You're tickling me. Yes, I am. I would say yeah. he was like Geiger was like a was the Godfather of artwork for me, <laughs> alongside Leonardo da Vinci. I loved his work because it was so out there, you know, a lot of people would find it very disturbing and disgusting. And in middle school, that was a big deal for me because I would draw all dragons and monsters all the time. And the guys would pick on me for that. They'd be like, Oh, you're a girl. You're supposed to be drawing girly sissy stuff. And all you're drawing is these disgusting monsters. Yeah. I was picked up for my artwork a lot in middle school. And HR and now Geiger. you get paid for it, so, you know. I mean, H and here's H.R. Geiger. He makes a living off his <laughs> artwork, and it's probably one of the most obscene or abnormal works yeah. you'll ever see. What the hell did I just enter? Holy and shit. He's oh, shit! It. Secret level! No! 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 <laughs> Rip. Oh, Rip and well, that was quick. Rip and pepperoni. <laughs> check no, one, Dark check Seed. One. Dark Seed is a point-and-click adventure game that has a lot of crazy shit in it. It's... <laughs> I mean, the main storyline is the fact that there's an alien race that comes from another dimension, and they abducted the... They abducted a guy who is an author who is the main character. This race abducted him and then planted an egg inside of his brain. What? That sounds familiar. Yeah. This this is like that's the plot for uh, for Dark Seed the uh, the adventure game that Geiger did the art or Geiger did the artwork for. Ah, <laughs> uh, like that game's that game opens up with this poor guy having a nightmare of his head being pulled open as they inject something into it. Like, <laughs> is that a nightmare or is that more along the lines of foreshadowing? It's foreshadowing oh. because he wakes up from a nightmare about that. Then it's like, I keep having these weird headaches, and it's like, no, that really happened. They implanted an alien egg inside your brain. So also, you're, you're going to die in, like, a week, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's not good. Up. That is really fucked up. Yeah, so if I was you, I, I, I'd spend the rest of your days on hookers and blow. Just, yeah. just you know, <laughs> take, it, take it all out for what it's worth. You know what that reminds me of? There was a video uh, where one guy was diagnosed with cancer, and knowing that he was gonna die, he spent like one of his last couple of days being a complete asshole, where he screams around the streets, screaming out the F word, and just starts eating pasta out of someone else's dish, goes to quit his job, and taking a shit on his desk. Wow. Yeah, I know, it's, it's hilarious. And then it turns out he doesn't have cancer. Oh, that would have been hilarious. But no, he actually did die like, after a fuck! After, a, <laughs> after fuck. After fuck! I mean, if, I, if that was a way to go out, that's the way I'd take. <laughs> just, you know, no, just I go can't... out after third base. It's sad, though. Um, I mean, if I, find out, if I found out I only had a short time to live, I would do whatever I can to have fun. Yeah. Indeed. 
Someone asked, which game would you consider is darker, Super Metroid or Metroid Fusion? Um, you know what, that's a good question, because the shit that happens in Metroid Fusion is like, um, I have questions. Oh no! God oh. damn it. Now, it seems oh. I would like... actually say Super Metroid because of uh, Baby Death. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, I'll, I'll agree with that. That was like, that got me in tears when I saw that happen. It's one of those things where like, the ending is like, the final act is easy, but it can really tug your emotional strings. I think that the real like, big final boss of the game before you can like, see the other supposed climax was facing Ridley. Cause there's like, there's some kind of rivalry between the two. That, well, yeah, no, fucking Ridley went and killed Samus' parents, which is why the whole rivalry exists. And the crazy thing is, God damn it, I have the same goddamn face! <laughs> and the crazy thing is, fuck! <laughs> they about Metroid Fusion, though. Like, that game kind of stuck with me a lot more than Super Metroid for a few reasons. One was... I can't remember what it was called, but it was the design of one of the boss monsters that just had like a square shaped head. It was real oh, disturbing. Nightmare X. Yes. Yeah, he yeah, was it was real disturbing annoying. to look at. He was and so annoying. I told penis. you to roll, Diddy. I told you to fucking roll. Why didn't you listen? Why did you just say, <laughs> I'm gonna go run into the big armored thing, whatever the fuck that is. Ow, god damn it. Stop wasting my lives away, Diddy. Fuck. <laughs> Diddy, you are a disappointment. Well then. Um, let's see. So there was Nightmare X from Metroid Fusion. Then just all the stuff with like the Samus X, the the evil clone. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. S A X. Fuck those chase scenes. God, Fuck that them to shit hell. was terrifying. I'll give you this. It had a very good scare factor. Um, oh, but yeah. I also love the atmosphere of um, the Super Metroid soundtrack. Like you can easily tell, it was like it was very Alien inspired. Uh, let's see, there was that, and not really so much for Ridley himself, but Ridley and Fu. Well, actually, it, it's not Ridley; it's the X parasites that form into Ridley. Yeah, but um. <laughs> But well, like the fucking noise that it makes. Oh for... God, no! I, yeah, I know what like... you're talking about. That huge screech. It was so the screeching. Obnoxious. Yes. <laughs> no it's thanks. so yeah. it's so fucking notable that like whenever I listen to the music, I just can't imagine it without the ungodly ear-piercing screeching. Yeah. Um, I would like that Godzilla screech from Super Metroid, please. Thank you. Fuck. I was doing so good! No! Oh, it's right Jesus, there! Jesus, man. The goddamn candy store where I could save. Okay. Well, speaking Jesus. of Godzilla, right. though, I am so... I, I, me and Lars are gonna go see uh, Cog uh, on next Monday. I'm really Ooh. excited for that. I've but heard about that. What I'm really, really, really excited for is what's gonna be leading up to it. There's gonna be new Godzilla movies. Ooh. One of them is gonna be facing against Kong. Um, and according to the guys who made the last new Godzilla movie, not Toho, but American version, uh, they're going to go all out with the next Godzilla film. Not only are they going to get Mothra involved or, uh, um, Anguirus, no wait, not Anguirus, it's Rodan. They're yeah, getting Rodan. Mothra and Rodan involved, but not only are they coming back, so is King Ghidorah. Do we get to see any of them before the third freaking act? I'm, right? You know what? Okay. Okay. I know why they did that. It wasn't smart, but I know why they did it. They were played it safe, and they were trying to re recall back to the original first Godzilla film that was black and white, where you didn't see the damn monster until the <laughs> third act. Well, but, they kind of um, failed with that. That was stupid, though. That was not oh, a smart shit. thing to do. We yeah, know who there. Godzilla is. We want to see Godzilla show us mother flopping Godzilla. Not to mention, Godzilla is not a spectacle as he used to be, considering that we've had a lot of movies since. We've had Cloverfield. We've had uh, oh, Pacific so Rim. Oh, big is. monster. Yeah! Yes! I'm gonna there save. you I'm go. Gonna save. I'm going to save, and I'm going to call it an episode. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back. Save. Um... Just considering, though, we've had big monsters, Godzilla coming back and, like, all of this. You don't need to build it up again. We're used to this by now. We know. 
we know, so there really was no excuse. I understand they wanted to play it safe, but that's not smart oh, today. Okay. So it's like, but I still liked the effects. I still liked the new sound they gave for Godzilla. They like ramped it up. He's he's a force of destruction, and he clearly showed that just by showing up on shore. <laughs> brought a fucking okay. tsunami with him. <laughs> All right, so um, now that I finally saved, I think it's safe to uh, call this one another episode, and we're going to go through another intermission. So uh, that being said, I'm just going to cut straight to the chase. I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Until next time, I'm Girl the Fox to keep gaming. <laughs>